Hi, it's Teacher Mike from Phuket Pals. Welcome back to another interview with a GED graduate. Yeah. Um, this is Oscar. He's recently just finished his RLA and social studies and he has done fantastically well. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Tell us about your scores. What happened? Uh, well, I got a 175 for social studies and a 168 for RLA. It's fantastic. A 175 for social study, that's pretty high. That's uh, college ready plus credit in the US. Um, right. So how did, you, how, how did you find the test itself? What, was, what were the challenges involved? Well, the one big challenge, like the main challenge is the reading. You have to infer information from the text and you have to really carefully you know, analyze the details that the questions give you. You know, you have to, uh, in short terms, you have to uh, have some close reading skills. Okay, yeah, close reading skills are probably the most important thing for the GED test, like whether that is the science part, uh, RLA, or social studies, and even in the maths as well, there's quite a lot of word problems, so close reading is a big one that you need. Yeah. Um, so you got a 1-6, what about RLA? 168. 168. And how did you find the RLA test? Pre pretty much the same as the uh, social study test. But, you know, the thing with the RLA test is it's really long. It's uh, 155 minutes. So, you know, you got to have some patience. You got to, you know, hang in there. Stamina. Yeah, you got you to <laughs> have some stamina. Yeah, it is. The RLA test is a beast. It's really, really long. And yeah. uh, just to stay focused, especially with the, the length of the passages and just the, the frequency of those passages as well, it's pretty tough to stay on, on track, I think, on point, yeah. I should say. So tell, to anyone, tell anyone who's, you know, lots of people watch these videos because they're uh, doing GED themselves or thinking about doing GED. And they're always interested. They, they tell me through uh, the YouTube channel, uh, why they're doing GED. Many people say that. So what about you? Tell us a little bit about your past and what uh, got you onto the, the GED path. Um, well, I think my past is pretty uh, similar to everyone else. I grew up with, uh, you know, a stri strict parents. I went to international schools. and But at the end of the day, I decided that I want to speed things up, so I went straight on to do the GED tests. Okay, okay. And what about, so that, that's how you got to GED. What about in the future? What are you thinking about once you finish everything? You've done RLA, you've done social studies, and you have done very well. Once you finish the science and the maths, what are your plans then for after that? Well, I plan to further my education in a college or a university and yeah let's see how things turn out okay okay so you have no no focused plans no concrete plans yet just gonna kind of see where yeah because you know the thing is i don't think i'm ready for society like going into the society as an adult yet so i'm gonna further my education and you know get more be more prepared okay that's a to, good idea to enter the work life Indeed, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The real world is when uh, the real action happens. Yeah. That's for sure. I, when I was your age, I had no idea what I wanted to do, to be honest. Me neither. Zero idea. Like, if you if you come up to me at the same age as you and said, e even if you come up to me when I was at university and said, what do you want to do when you're old? I really didn't have a clue. And it was just a complete blank, like a blank sheet. No idea would be the response. But for some reason, life kind of, if you, as long as you keep passing things, as long as you keep working, doors open, you know, avenues open and you get opportunity. Um, I always say that to my students, that's the one thing, that if you stagnate, if you just stop and don't do anything, then very few opportunities will come your way. But if you keep, like for example, if you pass your GED, suddenly you'll find that your options open and uh, yeah, you'll have somewhere to, somewhere to go and something to do. Yeah. Um, so what about you? What would be your ideal job? If you could have any job in the future, what would it be? If you got to pick magic wand stuff. Well, I've always been fascinated with uh, technology. So I want So if, if I could be anything, uh, I want to, you know, 
become like a mechanical engineer. Okay, very good. Okay, I think that's interesting. I was I was never good enough at maths or physics to do that. Um, I was good at Lego, but that was about yeah, it. I, I, I'm good <laughs> at building, you know, Legos and like, you know, those Japanese Gundam models. You know? Oh wow, okay. That's cool. Well, at least you've got something to work towards. Um, okay, that's about it, I think. Yeah. Okay, so if you had to give one piece of advice to other GE students watching this video, or a number of pieces of advice, what, would, what advice would you give them? Well, just... Do what you're supposed to do. Do uh, you gotta revise? You gotta, you know, improve your skills and like reading and uh, you know, like basically do what the teacher tells you to do, and you'll pretty much stay on track and yeah, pass the GD test. Okay, good. Um, that's about it then. Okay, so thank you, thank you, Oscar. Yeah. Well done. Good luck for the future. And that's the end of the video today. So. I'm Teacher Mike from Phuket Pals. Have a good day. Bye-bye.